Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the API that we provide you in Script Runner for Jira Cloud Behaviors to access more information about the issue that you're currently working with. With Behaviors, you have the ability to do things like map behaviors to certain projects and issue types, but there may be use cases where you want to apply 80% of the functionality of a behavior to story and bug, but there is that 20% difference. And rather than build two separate behaviors, which mostly replicate the same functionality, you'd rather build one and have that contextual information available to you in the script so that you can write your script to be a little bit smarter and a little bit more dynamic. This is now possible um, using behaviors. So I'm going to show you how. So you can see here that I've got a behavior called access to your issue information. The behavior is enabled and it's mapped to webinar and story. We can also apply it to bug and let's add it to epic as well when i go to create a script i have access to the api i can go here into the documentation this is under behaviors and behaviors api you can see here that we have the ability to get the context so if i go into here and apply get context we can also see through the documentation the things that are available to me so the issue type is available under extension the project and also a load of other information available here. So here I can say, whilst this behavior is mapped to bug story in Epic, what I could instead say is const issue type equals context dot extension dot issue type dot name. And then here I could add a case statement to say case issue type, um, not case switch, and then case story, case bug, or case And then just for proper coding etiquette, we add in the default. So here now I can write, I could here have the entirety or the 80% of my logic that applies to every issue type available in this particular behavior that's been mapped to. But then within this switch, what I can do is actually define unique logic here that is applied only to stories and then unique logic here that is applied only to bugs, etc., which gives you more power and more flexibility when writing behaviors that cover multiple different use cases and types. We also have an example of how you can access information in the issue itself right now using the API in the library here. So in the library, with this script, we get the context and then we get the issue key from the extension element. From there, we can make an API request to go and get information about that particular issue and get field values. So we can just copy this over. And we have got this already. We get the issue key, make the API call, and you can see here we can make those console logs. I'm not going to be able to show you this now in this video, but if you were to try this out, I would recommend trying it out just to see how it works. It's also worth noting that console log, if you are not aware of this, is a really powerful tool to allow you to debug when it comes to behaviors. Um, if you were to right click and go to inspect, you get the ability to inspect element and console log gets out into the console there. So when you're testing your behaviors and you want to see the values that are being passed and shown, um, what you can do, create a behavior, add a load of console log debugging into your script. And then when you're going to test your behaviors, right click inspect element to get the console log available to you there and then go and activate your behaviors and see what comes out from there. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.